guys, welcome to my channel. Yes, TT, I'm finally on YouTube. <laughs> I know, it took the longest time, but you know what? Every single time I was about to film a YouTube video, I would be like, no, I want to get another camera. No, I want to get better lighting. No, I want to get a microphone. Like, there was always something. And then just like today, actually, well, yesterday now, because it's midnight at this point, but I was thinking to myself, and I was like, look, TT, when you started Instagram, like, you didn't care about any of that. I just wanted to just film. Like, I just didn't care. So I was like, somewhere down the line, I started to lose, you know, that person. And I was like, you know what? Just go for it. The same way you went for it when you were about to start Instagram. Just post it. Use whatever you've got right now. And, you know, you get better. So... Here we are. I'm finally posting my first YouTube video. For those of you that do not know me, my name is TT. I am um, an Instagram beauty blogger. I've only been blogging for a little over a year, so I'm pretty new at this. But um, yeah, for my first video, <laughs> I figured what better uh, content to start with than to give you guys my actual detailed skincare routine. Like skincare, my skincare routine has got to be my top um, requested video, like ever. Like literally, every single time I post a, a video on Instagram, people are like, "Please skincare, skincare," and it's just like I'm just so lazy when it comes to like filming my skincare routine, just because like it's just there's water everywhere, it gets messy. Like I just get so lazy doing that. So I figured, you know what, let me try to do this for YouTube, at least I, I can get like a longer video and actually explain to you guys why I do some of the things that I do. If you love videos like this, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more content from me here on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's grow the fan here on YouTube. And yeah, without further ado, I'm going to jump right into it. Love you guys. Baby, shy. Baby, will you hold me down? Hold my hand, baby girl, hold my hand. When she the first thing I would typically do is um, take off my lashes, of course. And don't worry, guys, I actually filmed this makeup look and I filmed it for Instagram, so it's gonna be up on my Instagram page. I'm not sure which one's gonna go up first, but follow me on Instagram. It's my first and last name together, and that's it. TT Live at Boom, and you can see the tutorial on there. And then next thing I do is obviously take off my makeup. Now, if I wasn't wearing makeup today, you know, if, um, of course I'm not going to do this step, but if I'm wearing makeup, then this is a, an essential part of my nighttime routine. I never, never go to bed with makeup on. Like, it doesn't matter how tired or drunk or whatever it is I am. I just, like, that's one thing. I might not do a good job at it, like I might do a really bad job, but at least like I make an effort to actually wash it off. So for the longest time now, I think a little over a year, I have been taking off my makeup with coconut oil. And the brand doesn't really matter, but for some reason I have used just only this brand for the long for, since I started using coconut oil. So um, I just used that. So that's it. This is my second jar in like a year, and that's how much I have used from it. So I would just typically put the oil all over my face and then wipe it off with a um, cotton round. So these right here. So that's what I would do. I would wet this and then wipe off the um, coconut oil slash makeup. And a lot of people say, complain that coconut oil breaks them out. I find that like with any oil that can happen, but since this is actually the first step to my skincare routine, it doesn't actually stay on my skin to where it could clog my pores. So I find that it doesn't bother me as long as I wash it off, you know, all the way. But anyways, this gets really messy. See, that's why I don't like skincare. <laughs> So I wipe it all off really good and then we're done with the coconut oil. So next I would go in with my favorite nighttime facial wash at the moment. This is not, I never heard anything about this product before I got it. I literally was at Target and I was looking for a new facial um, wash and 
I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, this sounds awesome. And I picked it up. It's from Soap and Glory. Um, it's their vitamin C facial wash. Like, I just love this thing so much. It, I love it because it also, one, it has vitamin C in there. And I'm going to get to that in a second. But two, I love the fact that it's like, kind of like a uh, scrub slash wash that's like not too um, strong to where it bothers me. You know, I use it every day, sometimes morning and night, and it doesn't like bother me. It's not too harsh on my skin or anything. Now, vitamin C, the vitamin C part of it, every single thing that has vitamin C in it, I find that my skin loves it. Like, I don't know what it is, but anything vitamin C, my skin loves it so much. And it took me a while to actually find that out because I, I, was, I started to, um, I started to gravitate towards uh, glycolic acid products at first because that's what everyone was using. But then somehow, somehow, some da somehow um, down the line, I figured that, you know, that's like my skin doesn't like that at all. It's too harsh on my skin. But vitamin C, like, my skin loves it. And I can start telling you all the, like, benefits of vitamin C and all that. But honestly, you can just, like, Google that and read up on it. But for my skin, I find that when I use... Um, this cleanser and like some other products that are vitamin C um, product based products, my skin just feels so soft. It plumps my skin. Um, it brightens my skin. It's soft. It's just it it does wonders for my skin. So I love this so much. Anyways, enough rambling about the products. This is it definitely. I would recommend. I recommend this hundred percent. Like I'm so glad I found this. So glad. Anyways, I usually go back in with this after um, wiping off the coconut oil. I wash my face with this, just this and water at first, and then um, after that, I put some of it on my uh, skin brush. So. I don't know if you guys can see it, um, but do you guys see the little tiny beads in there? I don't know if you can see it, but that's. That's like one of the things I love most about this. Did my ladies go down? Go down, 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 go down. Pretty ladies go down. Go down, 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 go down. Go down, go down, down. And this just gives me a deeper cleanse, and I can guarantee that I actually got all of that makeup off. Guys, my skin feels so like soft and so plump and just it just feels really good like I can't even I'm not even kidding it feels so good right now that's what I love about that cleanser so depending on what day of the week it is um, I would either go in at this stage with my toner or uh, this peel and polish they're both pixie products I've come to fall in love with Pixie Beauty um, products a lot because they're just uh, really good for my skin and I just love them. So today though I'm not going to be using the peel and polish. This I use it once or twice a week maximum and what it does is it, it like um, helps lift away dead skin cells and so that way I kind of use it as sort of like a detox for my skin on like you know. Um, on occasion but I don't use it all the time because it's like too much so usually like every almost every night this is what I would go for and this is the vitamin C tonic um, it's a toner and again vitamin C works great on my skin so it's, it was just a no for me yeah. And this will just help balance the skin, also to wipe away, you know, some makeup that might still be left over somehow. So after that, I'm pretty much done with all of the cleansing, detox, toning, done with all of that. And then at this point, I'm more concerned with hydrating my skin. And for that, um, this has been another Holy Grail product. I used it for a long time and then I forgot about it and then it just came back and I'm just like, why did I ever stop? And these are both from e.l.f. So the one on the top is the eye cream and then the one on the bottom is the night cream. And I just love both these products so much. I love that. I feel like they work so great together. Um, and eye cream, for the longest time I stopped using eye creams because I honestly just forgot about like 
the use the usefulness. But when I started when I stopped using it, I noticed a difference in my um ow. Oh I got it in my eye. Oh. Okay. We're good. But <laughs> When I stopped using it, I noticed, you know, that my under eyes were just dry and just like, they just looked exhausted and just tired all the time. And um, so when I finally got back to it, I was like, oh my gosh, that made so much difference. So yeah, I'm never not using eye creams ever again. So, but I really love this one from e.l.f. Of course, affordable, of course, and it gets the job done. And then the second one, the Nourishing Night Cream. Um, you can see it but it just basically provides a crazy amount of hydration helps keep your skin nourished and just gives it all that it needs to stay hydrated and just like get it ready for the next day cool tap that in it feels so good and then put on some chapstick Keep the lips hydrated as well. Okay guys, that is it for my nighttime skincare routine. I hope you learned a thing or two and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Will you be my ride or die? And we no go die. Baby will only fly. I want this Give me your love. Let I talk to you.